Hey there guys, Penguin Recordings here, and in this last video we're going to be going over the CSGO benchmark, but this time we're going with the AMD hardware, so this hopefully should cover all three hardware specs. So in this video it's a HD5750 and the settings I'm putting at some things are high but most things are low because this is an older card. I'm setting it to 1920 by 1080p regardless though because the card can handle it, it is better than the Intel iGPU. So the settings are the same for Windows 8.1 and Ubuntu 15.04. Now I used Ubuntu 15.04 because initially I wanted to try and use the open source drivers for this AMD card, but I could not get Steam running. It kept giving an X error. So after, I, after that I had to go with the Catalyst Omega drivers. So the one upper hand here with using AMD is that the drivers on both systems are exactly the same revision version. They're both Omega drivers which I believe is 14.12. So on the left we have Ubuntu 15.04 and on the right we have Windows 8.1. You are going to notice though that even though I started the game later on Ubuntu, it is able to run into the game straight into the match a lot faster than the Windows version. So there is some sort of discrepancy here. Uh, compared to the NVIDIA and Intel tests that I did. So right off the bat, we are seeing Ubuntu at 140 and Windows is at 200. Now we're seeing it at 90 to 120. We're looking at anywhere from 30 to 40 frames per second difference. Right now, 80, 60 to 90. Yeah, about 30 to 40 frames per second difference between the two systems, with uh, generally Windows is leading. So it looks like the Catalyst drivers still do have quite a bit to go, at least on the Linux side when it comes to performance, but it's not as bad as the uh, Intel drivers and that is because number one it has OpenGL4 context support and number two is that you'll notice throughout this video there is no moment where the Linux or the Windows version has any stutters, hangs or slowdowns. So they run smoothly regardless of operating system. It's just that the frames are higher on Windows 8.1. So generally we are seeing 20 to upwards I think of 50 frames per second leading but it is pretty erratic. Both systems seem to be able to hold above 60 frames per second pretty well. If I was to tweak this to all low and then 1920 by 1080p I'd probably be able to get higher frames on Ubuntu but if you can push it this high on Windows, you should be able to push it as well on Ubuntu. So they definitely need to improve their Linux driver in that regard. You are going to notice something, I'm not sure if you can see it from here, but just as I saw with the Nvidia drivers, you're going to notice that there will be less blood splatters and less bullet holes in a short bit on the Windows side. When the frames start to go up pretty high on the window side, this is when the blood splatters and bullet holes start to disappear. Even right now, I think we can already see just for a moment there, there was more bullet holes under the uh, bridge area than there was on windows. So although windows is having a higher frames per second overall, it seems that it's not holding as much in memory. And it looks like this is actually either a bug in the game, or a bug in Windows 8.1 or maybe it's just how Windows 8.1 handles Direct3D9 because this doesn't happen uh, on the Intel drivers at least as far as I could tell although this does happen with the Nvidia drivers as well so it's definitely not an Nvidia specific issue nor is it an AMD specific issue so right there you could already see there's no blood spares on Windows again so Windows has the higher frames but you're missing detail on the map if those details were there, the question is how far apart would the performance really be? I don't think it would be that far. So far the AMD Catalyst drivers are actually doing okay. But we are seeing it drop below 60 here, just now it went down to 40. You're going to notice no blood splatters on the Windows side and no, blood, no bullet holes. Yeah, there's pretty much a lot that's missing there. You wouldn't notice this if you weren't doing a benchmark, but after doing the benchmark it's pretty noticeable. There's nothing behind him on the back of the screen there just now. So we're seeing almost double the frames here on Windows side, just like we were seeing with the NVIDIA tests. The driver on the Windows side excels greatly, but at the cost of losing detail to the scene. Now despite the game having the exact same settings on both platforms, it would definitely have to be something to do with how Windows handles Direct3D and it talks to these drivers. 
yeah, the scene is pretty empty there. Windows is leading in frames, but at the cost of detail. So we're seeing it end at what looks to be 60 frames per second difference, but with a whole lot less detail in the scene. So in a sense, it's not really fair to the Linux side, but then again, I wouldn't expect the performance to be exactly the same even if there was all those details on the Windows side because the AMD Catalyst drivers generally still are slightly behind the Windows drivers on a usual case-to-case -case basis. So overall, it definitely looks like the position for the AMD drivers and AMD hardware as a whole if you're using the Catalyst that is, Catalyst drivers, is that it's in second place. Nvidia comes first, AMD comes second, and Intel is just flailing away in third place. So the issue here is that you're seeing the same problem we saw in the Nvidia test, which is missing bullet holes and blood splatters on the Windows side, which strangely does not seem to appear in the Linux tests for the Intel drivers. Overall, yep, I have to agree with the fact that currently AMD, at least in the Catalyst region, is in the second place. I really wanted to give the open source drivers a go, but it was not possible to start Steam up, so I apologize for not including those in the benchmark. I did try. So these tests aren't perfect. Their results may not exactly represent what you'll experience, but they should give you a general idea of where things are. I hope this video helps you in one way or another, and thank you for watching.